In this video, we'll see how to do some basic editing with Movie Maker. Simply open up Windows Explorer and drag a video or videos and drop it here. It will take a little bit of time to import it. The shorter the video, as you can see, the quicker it will be to import. And you can then play and preview the video. So we can see it here and we can jump to the bit that we want. So at the beginning here, there's a little bit of a preamble and we're going to remove that. So we can very simply edit the video. We can trim the ends or we can split and then remove any element of it. The video file itself is stored separately. So what Movie Maker saves is a project file, which is the editing of the video. With all video or movie video audio files saved separately. So here I'm just going to play. And I'm going to remove this amount from the very beginning. I can do this in a couple of ways, but the easiest way is under the edit is to choose the split to. And this splits the movie into two parts. And then I can simply delete the first part. Now this is deleting not the video itself, but the editing part for that. So now if we play, and we can then also use the trim tool and the trim tool allows us to set the start and the end point for a particular part. So we can see we've already trimmed the video a bit, as in we've started at uh, 5.4. So we can actually pull back some of the bit that we've deleted if we want, or we can increase it. So here I'm just going to increase it a little bit more in and just check that that's what. And I'm going to remove the work and just, just get it exactly the way that I want. And, and that looks fine. So uh, going back to the edit, I just obviously clicked on something there. So if I go back and I click on the trim tool, I've got it saved as I wish. And I can always change that. Equally, I can jump to the end. And here, if I press play. Okay, so I want to just remove the last little bit here. So I'm going to trim here and I'm going to trim the end point back and you can see or you can type in it at a particular time or simply you can drag it here as well and pull it back in like that. Hit save and now we have trimmed our video. We can do a number of other things very quickly and easily. So say we want to get to a particular point in our video like here and we want to add in a caption. So under the home menu you can add a caption which simply is just some, some text. So here um, I might just say uh, uh, calculator. calculator and you can choose where it appears. Obviously the color white on a white background isn't good so you can choose a different color and you can move it to where you want. You can make it bold. You can increase the font size. So here I'm going to increase it to 36. Uh, I need to make it a little bit wider for that to work then. And that's a bit too big, so maybe I'll go back down to 28 and then move it up into the corner. You can see here how long it, you have it. So it's the duration, it's going to show it for seven seconds. You can increase that, it's only one word, so maybe I'll just decrease it down to four seconds. And you can also choose where that appears, so you can move it later or uh, earlier, and that will also be reflected in the start time. Obviously, it can be done here as well. So if we want to move it to near the beginning and that will then appear when we want. We can also add under the home page a title. If you click on this, it automatically appears at the beginning. So we have some default text here. I'm going to change this to uh, using your calculator. And again, we've got full control over what, what is here. And I'm going to reduce this down again to maybe five seconds might be sufficient. And at the very end, we can add some credits. So again, we can do that by the credits when by default will appear at the end. And we can say created by Demian Raftery and CC by. Um, and you can add credits for images you've used, any music that's appropriate, uh, etc. And that's your basic uh, setup for a video. Uh, you can then uh, save your project and when you're happy that you're ready to go you can just simply go to save your movie and under the save movie here and I'll just move this over so that you can see under the save movie you can choose 
uh, the actual settings and if you choose a high definition display the video file will be very big but you'll get very good quality images for computer is usually adequate um, but for email what your your actual resolution would be much more so I'm going to choose for computer and we can then choose to save our file and give it a name so in this case I'm going to give it a name calculator hit save and you'll see that it will start to export the movie when the movie is exported you can simply play it or you can open up the folder and you have your mp4 file for your video